shit. to erase the tribute she created for Kobe and Gigi. I wanted to pay my respects to Kobe and his family. One of the representatives from, from the city came over and said that we have to take it down because murals aren't allowed in the city of Lawndale. Kay says she had no choice but to paint over the Kobe and Gigi mural. I just assumed since there wasn't anything offensive and I had permission from the owner itself that it was going to be okay. Hours of hard work now covered in gray paint. It's hard. It's definitely hard. Gina Silva, Fox 11 News. Oh, Ellis, I'm just glad we got to show the mural right there and capture that for her. It is hard to believe, though, that they would make her do that today, not even yeah. get through tonight. Somebody reached out to me from Big Daddy's Pizza. They own this property, and they said, I have a small wall here. You're free to check it out. So I asked if I could do a doom piece instead, and they were stoked on it. So this means a lot to me to have a proper wall where no one's gonna go and just spray paint right over it, you know, after something that took hours to do. So it's my first wall here in Venice, and it means the world. Even though it's not for Kobe, it's for Doom, who I also wanted to paint like as soon as yeah. we passed Legend. 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 Yeah. One of my favorite rappers. Me and a lot of my friends love his music for years, so he 
you know, I had to honor him with something. So here we are. Can you explain the process of what you're doing with this Doom mask right here? The creative process is kind of long. You know, you gotta like map out what you want to do and figure out how it's gonna fit on the wall. So for the first hour or so, it's really just mapping things out on the wall and, and taking a step back, seeing how it looks. When you're that close to it, you can't really tell what's going on or how it looks or if the proportions are right. So it's just a lot of back and forth until everything seems right and then you fill it in with the colors, bring it to life, you know? So, so from the downfall of the, the COVID hero, um, a lot of people reached out, you know, people with houses and walls and they're like, hey, you can paint my backyard or um, we have this small business that you can paint at and this is just more suiting for what I want to do with Doom, but it kind of gave me like a bigger opportunity, you know, it helped me make some connections to just get out there and keep painting. So in a way I'm appreciative of the the whole failure of the mural, you know, because it's not really a failure at all. It's It was just another step forward, even though it didn't seem like it at the time. Awesome. So my art Instagram is at it's queso, it's dot queso. And uh, that's spelled I-T-S dot K-A-Y-S-O. Um, you can find my artwork there.